So, um, I recently joined the Pagan Perspective uh, Collaborate Speaking Tim, learn to speak. <sighs> I recently joined the Pagan Perspective Collaboration Channel, there we go, um, as a sub, so um, on one of the days of the week, uh, I think maybe Mondays, I'm not sure, um, either on the sub weeks when the main hosts have a week off, from making videos, or if there's an emergency, oh sorry about that, this is not how you speak to a camera, um, or in a case of emergency if the person who I'm a sub for can't make uh, that particular day then I'll be making a video, but I suppose in the meantime um, it would be good if me to kind of be getting involved anyway, so this is a response uh, to Rich's video, uh, this week uh, the Pagan Perspective are talking about uh, circles, both public and closed. So uh, I'm just going to respond to the same questions uh, he responded to. Um, I've only been part of a uh, local pagan community for about a year, less than a year at this point. So um, my answers may be slightly briefer uh, than his was, his were, um, rather. Um, but still, um, contribution, discussion. Um, if there's anything I say that any of you think that you've got some advice or an improvement or I made a mistake please tell me I would rather know that I'm wrong or know there's a different way of doing it or just uh, tell me how you do it anyway so um, do you have any advice for running or attending an open circle running an open circle I've got no idea um, the only open circle um, I have attended I've attended it twice it's the open Gorseth at uh, Avebury Stone Circle in Wiltshire uh, south of England uh, it's the largest stone circle in Europe it's absolutely a gorgeous uh, stone circle it's in the middle of a lovely little village and it's a really really fantastic place to go um, I've been to two of their circles I've been to the um, Yule uh, Gorseth and the Imolk Gorseth um, both very different. Uh, the Yule Gorseth um, was a little bit muddy, a little bit wet, but basically just fine. Um, it's public. Um, it's in a big open public space. It's in the middle of Avery Stone Circle. But like with Stonehenge, like with uh, Glastonbury, um, there's an expectation of there being um, pagan slash hippie slash witchy type stuff going on so even though there are people walking past who are just uh, visiting or they're not in any way um, interested in any kind of paganism whatsoever they're just interested in the site like we get tourists from all over the world turn up um, it's not doesn't carry with it the kind of embarrassment I think there might be if you just rocked up in a park local to you and just bit of circle, like open, opened up a circle and started shouting the elements and whatnot. It's not, there's no um, public anxiety type thing. Um, having said that, um, it's quite a big deal, I think, uh, to lots of people there. So it can be very important to those people. Um, I The second um, course that I attended was at Imok uh, last weekend. We can just go on. Yes. Uh, it's the Saturday closest to the uh, Sabbath that they hold them. Um, and it, because of the weather, um, which was bad for the part of England that I'm from, uh, it was about six inches of snow, which is not bad at all from lots of people's standards. Um, at the last minute, I was asked to call a quarter, uh, literally with minutes to go. So there's me racking my brains. Okay, uh, 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 calling West uh, Water. Uh, what's what's that to do with? And I, I, I had a little panic in my head because, uh, as, as I said, I'm I'm relatively new uh, on on the path. Um, but it, it went relatively well uh, for for me. I think I kind of hiccuped a little bit with my speech. Um, where was I going with this? Yeah. So attending uh, an open circle. Um, I've only attended in Avebury, which I think may be a different case to maybe an open circle, so um, anyone can turn up, that may be held indoors, as Rich said, or as, as I just mentioned, kind of, if it was just in a local park, it may be different. Now, obviously, if you're on a site of major historical significance with 
huge pagan connotations and links like Glastonbury, Stonehenge, Avebury, there are many kind of stone circles and places in Ireland or uh, Scotland and whatnot um, that are like this. Um, or if you're at some massive gathering where everyone is just, what they're wearing says, this is a thing that's happening now and public people you don't get to make fun or judge because this is just, this is happening. Um, if it's a smaller one I can see there being embarrassment maybe, um, but I honestly wouldn't have the first idea about what goes into organising um, an open circle. Um, as far as closed circles, um, I've, I've been attending a moot for the last year um, and it's definitely a lot more personal, it's, um, it's indoors, uh, disabled access, friendly people, all that good stuff, there's a raffle, it's, it's a really nice evening, um, get to connect and catch up with people we've not seen in a month uh, and that's every month and it's, it's really, really, really nice. Um, Again, as far as organising it, I have no idea what goes into organising it. I'm just very, very pleased it's there, and hopefully may it continue to. Um, experience I had with open circles. Well, I mean, I've, I've just, I suppose, given some of that already, not having the experience of organising. Um, the first circle was interesting because it was relatively good weather. Lots and lots of people turned up. Um, and along with that you obviously get tourists and things and there was a man who was walking around with a very very loud angry dog um, it was a relatively small dog we didn't feel in danger of it ever in any kind or at least I didn't but it was noisy and when you're um, calling Arwens or your kind of the circles being called or someone's kind of reading poems or singing a song and you've got this dog barking in the background it is really annoying um, there was a woman about eight or nine people to my left who had uh, a young boy with her. He just kept kicking her in the legs and making noise. That was distracting. Uh, there was a very, very drunk man who'd been drinking for hours, apparently, um, who came in at one point, um, not a pagan, I'm going to guess, um, shouted something about the sun and something about freeing Palestine or something. So he got drunk, thought, oh, I know what hippies say and shouted out some um, protest slogan from the 80s. Um, it was a very, very good day. It was a fantastic circle, but those kind of things will happen if you're in a public place. Um, at the Imolk Circle, like I said, um, I was last minute asked to call a quarter because very few people had turned up and I happened to be roughly in the right spot to call West. So that freaked me out slightly, but I'm going to be calling north next time and I'll have time to prepare and hopefully at the um, uh, spring solstice, spring solstice um, uh, Gorsa it will be much much bigger and I'll be even more nervous because there'll be kind of arch druids and all sorts of scary things uh, people to not want to look silly in front of. Um, believing it's important or beneficial to participate in your local pagan community? Um, personally I think definitely yes. Um, I came from a very, uh, what still, I still do did come from, I came from, <laughs> have come from uh, a very kind of uh, a background, personal background of being very cynical, um, self-proclaimed atheist for, for a long long time. Uh, what I couldn't see didn't exist and uh, over the last year I've come to to say soften would be a massive understatement uh, as far as that's concerned. There's a lot of stuff that I don't know what I believe but there's a lot of stuff that I'm choosing to believe because I think that it's a healthy way of looking at the world and it's something that I feel has been beneficial to me in several ways. Um, I think participating in, in the local community means that you become aware of events, um, you have people with whom you can discuss things you can't discuss every single day. Um, let's say for example at work I might talk to 40 people in, in some way, um, I mean probably less than that now I'm working with very small children, There's, uh, it's more a case of reminding them to continue for the fourth time to write the date at the top of the page in their exercise book rather than actually having a deep conversation with them but no matter how many people I talk to during the day none of them I can talk to about 
the kind of the pagan stuff um, or any any of that kind of thing. Even if I had a few friends who I could talk about it with on Facebook or on YouTube or what have you, um, it wouldn't be the same as meeting up, um, having a, a speaker discussing what they've spoken about, then going and discussing those things over the following month. Um, sharing memes, having a joke, going on road trips, it's involving yourself with real people in the real world I think is always going to be a benefit. I'm a massive nerd, I taught computer science for two or three years, ICT longer than that, um, I, I'm obsessed with computers and the internet, but I do think they're very bad for um, the soul, for want of a better term. Um, they Real connections with real people are always good. So participating in a local community, I think, is important for you as a human being. We are social creatures. Even people who are... Who, I get anxiety sometimes around people, but it's still better to be around people than not. Um, as far as the, the pagan aspect of it, I think definitely, I think that the path isn't made of tarmac with white lines down each side. It's not a train track. If it were a train track, you could hop on on your own and just plough straight through. Um, it's a bit more wibbly wobbly, um, and I think being around other people help keep you on that track and you get exposed to different ideas. Um, I was in Avebury um, at the weekend at the uh, Imolk Gorseth because of my involvement in the local pagan community uh, for a large part. I wouldn't have ever visited. I wasn't. I wouldn't have ever visited Avebury had it not been for that. And um, there was a man in the pub afterwards, around half four or so, um, did some kind of weird Darren Brown stuff to me, and I've not felt pain in my hip for two days. Um, that's magic. Uh, it was amazing. Um, that's quite a large personal benefit someone who was experiencing chronic constant sharp pain in my left hip to not have that for two days and I got that because I participated in the local bacon community there's a lot of things that you will get that you don't know are there to be got um, so yeah circles good open circles good um, I think just go for it, always, always say yes. I was stood up in the middle of a pub, pulling energy out of my hip, spinning it around in the air as fast as I could and putting it back in again. I'm pretty sure he hypnotised me or something. But I said yes, I think it's a good thing to do. Goodbye.